These are, these are flowers. Do you ever feel out of place, like somehow you just don't belong anywhere? No one understands you, even though you're surrounded around people who love you. That is the worst kind of pain. I realize that I'm different, not special, not better or worse, just different. I don't like partying or getting drunk. I like quiet places to drink my coffee. I've cultivated a taste for small pleasures. I don't have any pets because of the apartment regulations and all, but I have a cactus plant and I walk it around since my room is too dark and doesn't get enough sunlight. Everything changed after I met her. A friend of mine asked me to take her blind friend Christine, home because she forgot her walking cane. She told me that Christine lost her vision about three years ago. There is something breathtaking about the way she said my name. We said hello and then I wasn't sure what to do. Was I supposed to hold her arm or let her hold my shirt? She chuckled and said, give me your shoulder. We arrived at her apartment. She said, thanks, and then hugged me tightly. It was strange. With her arms around me, I felt all of my broken pieces fastened back together. I turned, intent on leaving, but instead, I came back to her and asked her if I could walk her tomorrow. She smiled and said yes. I started walking her a lot after that. Honestly, it was just an excuse for me to be around her. We talked a lot during our walks and got to know each other. She told me she hates feet. I told her I've always wanted to play the electric triangle. At first, Christine held my shoulder. A week later, she held my arm. Two more weeks passed by, and then she started holding my hand. I always know when she's coming. I can hear her, and it's not because of the bells around her wrist. The sound of her cane beating against the floor thrums in time with my veins, pulsing, vibrating. Sometimes she asks me to describe things to her. The longer we're together, the more I realize that I'm the blind one. Everything has a certain texture Everything has a specific shape and smell and feel. I met her at a very strange time in my life. I was lonely. I was just surviving. But she changed that. She changed me. Now, I wake up smiling knowing that I'm going to see her. She must know what she does to me. Her every touch, every time she grins at me, every time she holds my hand, every time she holds me close, I remind her every day of how beautiful she is. I can't give her one of my paintings, but I want to give her one of my poems. A song that might help her visualize beautiful things that her eyes can't see. These are flowers, tiny white and they smell nice. Usually found at weddings as decorations, they're called baby's breath. They're Christine's favorite.